exhaling all your breath out. Lifting your arms up, stretching one up to the ceiling as you bring one down to your shoulder, and the other up to the ceiling as you bring the other down to your shoulder. Long, slow, deep inhalation through your nose. <sighs> and sighing and shaking it out. <sighs> Inviting in new patterning, transcending old patterning, making room for the new. <laughs> Sounding your way through your pain, through your troubles. Welcome, Namaste, Zanoni Snowflake here, bringing you the Aquarius Moon, Sagittarius Sun Energy Empowerment Shift. So Grandma Moon's in her first phase and she was void of course from 5.34am this morning, Thursday the 17th. And she transits into Aquarius because the void, of course, moon is when she's not in any sign. So before 5.34 a.m. this morning, Thursday the 17th, she would have still been in Capricorn. But at six, from 5.34 to 6.27 a.m., she's in the void. The void, of course, no sign. The energies of the vortex, the vacuum of equilibrium, zero gravity where pure potential and creativity exists. And at 6.27am, she transits into Aries. Not Aries, sorry, what am I saying? Aqu Aquarius, Aqua Babies. So, intellectual, sociable, critical, air sign, Aqu Aquarius, who's masculine, barren, dry and airy. Are the forward thinkers, inventors, making new inventions? And we prefer to say constructive feedback rather than constructive criticism or critical, critical, because it's got more positive connotations to it. And that constructive feedback, so the constructive feedback loop of information, we need because otherwise we're not able to make improvements whether that's improvements on our internal world, with our speech, our vocabulary, how we treat ourselves, how we nurture ourselves, how we speak to ourselves, or whether that's how it, these energies are then reflected outside of us, to others, how we speak to others, how we treat them, how we love them, how we care for them. Are we judgmental or are we compassionate? If we're judgmental of others, it's because we're actually being really judgmental of ourselves inside because the other is a mirror to us to the you that's inside of you. So she's in her first phase and she's in the waxing crescent three of her first phase, which is the word of growth. And tomorrow, Friday the 18th, she moves into the waxing crescent four, self-love. So that ties in beautifully with what we were just saying about um, constructive feedback and criticism um, and applying it to ourselves first, in in, um, applying it to our first inside um, entirely so that then we can properly love someone else unconditionally and show them compassion because we know how to do that for ourselves. She, he's, it's a masculine sign, is fixed, a fixed sign. Aquarius is a fixed sign, persistent, sometimes stubborn. And the fixed signs are the between energies. So the cardinal energies are the energies that start a season, like Aquarius. Not Aquarius, Aries. We're only getting Aquarius and Aries mixed up here, aren't we? There's a, there's a link and a tie between Aquarius and energies 
um, Aquarius and Aries energies um, for this one. So you may want to find out if you you can go online and print off a free natal birth chart and you may want to look at the houses Aquarius and the house that has Aries in it and see what planets are in them. If you don't have any planets, that just means that you look to that house when there's planets transiting through it and that you don't, in this lifetime, your energy focus of what you're developing, becoming more aware about, becoming more co-conscious about, um, isn't in the Aquarius and the Aries signs. But it doesn't mean that you don't have those energies. You have all of the zodiac sign energies in you, all the planet signs energies in you. It's just which ones are more dominantly expressed consciously and which ones are expressed subconsciously, unconsciously, and about bringing the, un the conscious ones, bringing awareness into the conscious energies, but then bringing awareness into the subconscious energies, making them conscious. And the impulse is reformer. So the future thinkers, the inventors, reforming structures, reforming societies. Um, it's quite a, it can be quite an isolating, lonely feeling energy. Um, as you may be ahead of others in your understanding and your thinking and may need to embrace patience for others to catch up with you. Um, and it's the Aquarius energy's job to not get carried away or obsessive with those forward thinking energies and then therefore causing themselves disappointment when they're not patient enough to see them unfold within themselves and externally and collectively. Well, a bit came out there, didn't it? And that brings us into the spectrum of energies that we're dancing within. So the top aware, conscious, seen. Merry Christmas, by the way. We had the pebble fairy leave us this beautiful Christmas tree pebble outside our door. So thank you if whoever left that is watching. And it's number one, circle. And the circle is the feminine, but you have the square and the circle involved in here, if you can make out the squares. And that's the um, Etruvian man, square being masculine, circular being feminine. Needing both the masculine and the feminine to be in balance. And one, the circle, is wholeness, potential. And we did actually go into a little bit of detail about where pure potential exists, creativity and the void um, the vacuum of equilibrium, zero gravity. So when the moon is in between signs in the void, of course, it's a good time not to make any, it's not a good time to make any big, big decisions. It's a good time just to get on with what you're used to, regular routines, but also to connect in with that source energy, whether you call source energy, God, Buddha, Allah, your sh um, the nature, shamanism, or you may be a scientist and not believe in anything bigger than that and therefore just call it energy because everything is energy at the day, end of the day, um, on a subatomic fractal geometry level. Wholeness, potential, integration of your left and your right vagus nerve. And so that brings us in to the bottom unconscious, unaware, unseen, underlying spectrum of energies that we're dancing in. And this came up for one of the other readings. We'll leave the link for it. We just also wanted to say that we've got Aragonite here. And this is the crystal for um, strength and support. So we need, we need really strength and support to be able to handle constructive feedback and not take it personally, one of the four agreements, and, make it, and taking it as criticism, but taking it for what it is. We normally like to do a positive sandwich, so you offer a positive, offer constructive feedback, and then offer another positive. And then there's been two positives sandwiched between the constructive feedback in case the other person does take it negatively, because they might have some kind of past experiences, some post-traumatic stress disorder, um, something where they're not actually able not to take it personally yet. Um, 
and they're not to blame for that. There's no one to blame, but one can one can be a victim of circumstance and be in that blame mentality. Um, and it takes time to gain awareness and courage and strength to step out of that drama triangle of victim, perpetrator, rescuer, the blame mentality, switching between those energy dynamics, realising that we don't need to play in that game of life anymore, of the drama triangles, and we can actually tap into source energy. Oh, the um, it's just started hailing and it caught my distraction there. Distracted me. Um, do like good old rain. So we'll embrace the elemental forces of water of the rain, but water rather than being boiled and getting lighter it's colder and it's getting more solid so we're bringing up the consciousness the higher vibrational frequencies down into the physical the more dense lower vibrational frequencies and there's no good or bad there is just the frequencies and the ones that are harmonic to you in that moment and you are perfect in every moment 52 invoking the infinite healing and renewal and he's got his hands out here and your hands you can have yoga mudras people put their four fingers put their fingers and hands in different positions and you can put your hand on any part of your body and when you do that you're bringing your awareness there and your hand when you bring your hands to your body in different part you're connecting circuits you're connecting meridians for the energy to flow in that particular pattern and it's also the same putting your tongue on each tooth and moving your tongue around your mouth mouth yoga because each tooth is the anchor point of a certain meridian in your body Five is the number of change, the only constant, and freedom. And two is the number of balance, choices, patience. You need patience to gain balance. And together they equal seven. Seven is the no number of self-growth. And this is healing and renewal. And I think we just said that already, didn't we? So apologies for going there again. We're always in the moment and... Um, yeah, different altars pop in and out so the conscious co-consciousness can be a bit ambiguous sometimes <laughs> so if you notice our little beautiful amethyst archangel on the top of our Christmas tree there so the card that was given to us to integrate and dance with in these energies is the isosahedron which is the 20 sided shape 20 face shape, one of the platonic solids. So the dodecahedron is made of pentagons, the five sided shape, which I think we just had. Um, we've done a few readings at once, and we do a few at once to preserve our energies because they're intense. And that was the Pisces, the next breed to come out for the moon transit in Pisces. And we normally rest the card on these platonic solids and these are shungite crystal and we use that shungite to purify and cleanse our water in our five litre kiln or jars and this is made you're pretty sure it's a 20 sided one so you've got 20 faces sorry one two three four five and then you've got five on the other side so that's 10 and then you have 10 triangles going around the side going around the side so when I say game on the side, that you've got this, these ones here. So I'll read 58 to you. Five again, the number of change and freedom. There's a lot of change with the dynamics of the energies that um, nature has been giving us this year of C19. Semi forcing everyone to look inwards more. And so it's. It's a is sad for a lot of people who've lost anyone, and it's also extra challenging for people that are in any kind of relationships that are abusive. But we need to all know that we only stay in an abusive relationship that is slightly less abusive than how we abuse ourselves. So if you are in a, an abusive relationship, which is an exceptionally challenging, dark place to be. 
the first step of awareness and courage is to realise that you, you, from most likely, not always, but most likely from childhood programming, you've got a lack of self-esteem and a lack of self-worth and your inner voice or voices beat yourself up and criticise yourself and that's why you put up with this abuse that's slightly less than your own internal abuse um, from others and thinking that you can change them, etc. Which isn't the case but we have to all learn these journeys ourselves and we're sending so much love and so much energy out to anyone that is in that situation to give you the awareness and the courage to do whatever you need to do that's best for you in that moment and it may be that you stay in the relationship and you change certain dynamics within yourself first until you'll figure out a way a plan to support yourself financially in other ways if you've got kids um, for when you do choose to get out of that relationship because you deserve so much better if you are in a relationship like that. And like um, eight, the number of infinity, manifestation, and together they equal 13, which what we call is the feminine complex stability, 12 being the male complex stability. And we live in a masculine world of a baker's dozen, 12 eggs, 12 months in a year when there's 13 moon cycles in a year and so we treat 13 as the feminine complex stability 58 which equals four the number of mother gaia structure foundation pers perseverance and we need perseverance in tricky situations so 58 isosahedron is perspective so we can change our perceptions of things, even though we don't realise it sometimes and it can seem completely out there and impossible to do. But if you think of it in simplicity and you think of a cylinder, if you think of a cylinder that's got the same length cylinder, the length of the cylinder is the same as the diameter at the circle at the end of the cylinder. So, for instance, if I pull out these ones now here, this is a cylinder, in case you're not familiar. Now this is a long cylinder, so when you look at it from one shadow, if you were to start shine a light on it, it would be a rectangle. But if you were to shine a light on it from another angle, it would be a circle. Now it's still the one shape, but you've changed your perspective to how you're looking at it with the shadow, and so you don't quite know what it is. Now if the diameter from one edge to the other is the same as the length, it would be a square rather than a rectangle. We've got a beautiful How the World is Created according to Sacred Geometry reading on one of our other channels, so we'll put the link to that at the end as well. So polarised, there are too many facets to the situation. Choices and possibilities overwhelm you. This is a common challenge in modern culture. Attempt making a list and giving priority to the many things that seem to demand your attention. Decide which must get done and which you can release. Um, and we are doing these recordings on the Sagittarius new moon solar eclipse. And it was about an hour and a half ago, an hour ago. An hour and a half, two hours ago. Yeah, about between an hour and two hours ago, we've kind of lost track of time ourselves being in this um, energetic zone that we're in. Um, so the energies are super strong and normally the moon energies will kind of last um, a few days either side of the new or full moon. But when you have a, a strong a solar eclipse or a strong lunar eclipse, the energies can go on for the full moon lunar cycle so that would be until if it's a new moon it'll be until the next new moon if it's a full moon it's an it's until the next full moon the iso the energies of isosahedron 58 perspective and when we change our perspective it helps us change our perception the isosahedron is one of five three-dimensional geometric shapes commonly called the platonic solids. Each has equal angles, edges of equal length and equal faces, and each would fit within a sphere. We call them 
the cosmic volumes, because that was their name long before Plato's time, and because they hold within their structure cosmic wisdom. The isosahedron has 20 equal triangular faces. This geometric solid represents the beginning of new consciousness and is water, liquid and female. Choosing this card suggests that the subject of your inquiry has been on your mind for some time. You ruminate and question, but like a continuous loop moving round and round, and round and round and round and going nowhere. You are stuck in thought patterns that offer no solution. It is time to seek a new perspective. Ask for inner guidance from the female receptive aspect of your being and allow this flow to enter your thoughts in a way that will release the old patterns and bring a light and higher wisdom. You may be surprised at how easily you untangle the situation once you see it from a fresh vantage point. Fresh perspective, new perception. Namaste, so much gratitude, acceptance and appreciations for you. Remember, you are perfect as you are in every moment. Love thyself unconditionally. So much love from our heart to yours. Zanoni Snowflake. Namaste.